Top 5 Japanese Female Humanoid Robots 2022 This is bad. Right now, Japan's robots are practically ruling the globe. Do you know that Japan is the homeland of 7 of the top 10 industrial robotics businesses in the world? Especially when it comes to female humanoid robots, Japan's expertise is on another level. They can communicate, do your work, and even be a terrific amount of amusement. Do you wish to be astounded by female humanoids' as cutting-edge technology? Well, in this video, we'll discuss the top 5 Japanese female humanoid robots in 2022. So, watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to the AI universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. That being said, let's begin. Right off the bat, allow me to come to the point. What is a humanoid robot exactly? A humanoid robot has a body that is designed to look like a human's. The design might be practical for purposes like interacting with human equipment and environments, or for experimental purposes like bipedal mobility studies. Humanoid robots typically have a chest, two arms, and two legs. Some humanoid robots have heads that are meant to look like human features like eyes and lips. Humanoid robots are now being used in a variety of sectors and employment roles. Humanoid robots might be used in everyday life to complete activities that humans would rather not undertake. It would be more efficient for humanoids. They will improve with time and will be able to do a variety of tasks more effectively and affordably than human labor. Making robots that act like people in a world designed for humans is a major challenge in robotics. They can maneuver and complete well-designed tasks if they have the necessary software. Humanoid robots are capable of carrying out every work that a person can. Despite their lifelike look, they lack cognitive and physiological autonomy. No country can compete with Japan in robots. While the West sees robotics and artificial intelligence as a threat, Japan takes a more spiritual approach, resulting in a tangled relationship with technology. Japan has long been known as the country with the most enthusiasm for developing and associating with humanoid robots. While this picture is commonly dramatized outside of Japan, as hyperventilating headlines suggest, androids are not massively present in Japanese households and businesses. It is not exaggerated to suggest that Japan is a robotics pioneer. Some Japanese observers feel that Shinto, the country's ancient religion, explains the country's love of robots. Shinto is a kind of animism in which spirits are assigned not to just humans, but also animals, natural elements like mountains, and even common objects like pencils. So you observe the Japanese mindset behind robotics. Well, now it's time to turn them on. Alta is the first one on our list. Alta is a component of artificial life, a new research effort. The goal is to learn more about the future of human communication and new forms of entertainment. Mixi Corporation, Tokyo National University, Osaka University, and Warner Music Japan Corporation Limited collaborated on the project. Alta is a humanoid robot with an ageless face and a nude body that shows the mechanism within. Osaka University's Hiroshi Ishiguro contributed to the research. It includes an artificial neural network developed by artificial life scientists at the University of Tokyo. Alter 3 features a better singing expression around the mouth, expressive capabilities, human sensing systems, and mouth vocalization capacity than the preceding Alter models. It has a neural network with repeating neurons that allows the robot to create its movement patterns using proximity, temperature, and humidity sensors. Although the arrangement does not allow for human-like movement, it does create the sense that the robot is alive to the spectator. After all, it's the point where the altar sings, although in a horrific, horrifying way. The robot's sad song is composed of sine waves that vocalize the robot's finger movements. Let's move on to the next one. And this one is an aspiring actor. I know it's hard to believe, but look for yourself. A humanoid robot developed by Japanese scientists will star in a $7 million Hollywood film. The robot's name is Erika, and it was built by Hiroshi Ishiguro and Koei Agawa, two well-known humanoid robot assistants. Erika purportedly had method acting training, in which an actor aims for profound emotional identification with a character. Because she lacks emotions of her own, Erika would have to rely on the algorithm incorporated in her operation to mimic whatever emotions are required. Erika will appear in a film which is funded by Bonded Capital Media which has previously co-produced Oscar-nominated films such as Loving Vincent. 
The idea of beauty is captured in the typical face. Its designer, Ishiguro, claimed. So I took 30 gorgeous women's photos, mixed up their attributes, and utilized the average to construct their noses, eyes, and other features. This implies that it should be appealing to everyone. Their speech has improved, and she can now understand and respond to questions with uncannily human-like changes in her facial expression. Erika, according to Ishiguro, is the most beautiful and intelligent android around the globe. Erika uses 14 infrared sensors and facial recognition technology to monitor people in a room. Erika has also picked up some jokes. This robot is capable of compassion and love, according to her creator. She gives them independent consciousness. Erika, on the other hand, is getting set to make her acting debut. We started down the slippery road that might lead to the rise of artificially intelligent actors in Hollywood. An interesting new trend is set to start in a movie theater near you. Actroid is the next in line. Kokoro's Actroid of Telepresence robot is a lifelike, full-size female humanoid with sophisticated face motions. It can blink, move its eyes and neck, and even breathe. Even though it is unable to move from its chair, the Geminoid female robot has been transformed into a genuine female robot. She's simpler, less expensive, and easier to control. The air compressor and valves that control Actroid's motion might be powered by home electricity. In addition, the Actroid F is 30 kilograms lighter than previous full-scale Actroid robots. It can now make eye contact with someone trying to interact with her and gesture in their direction, allowing it to handle enormous crowds with ease. We're going to talk about Asuna now. Asuna is an android created by Hiroshi Ishiguro in collaboration with a Tokyo-based lab and first displayed at the Chiba Winter Festival in 2015. She looks to be a nice 15-year-old girl standing 155 centimeters tall and weighing 43 kilograms. Indeed, this hyper-real robot looks so much like a member of the AKP48 band that a reporter covering the convention mistook it for one of the band's stars. You've most likely seen photos of humanoid robots before. Her feelings, though, are what make this android so intriguing. Asuna's demeanor will astonish you with its naturalness from the way she blinks and squeezes her eyes tight to the form of lipstick, as if she were about to yawn. Asuna stands out among androids. Asuna has lovely skin and delicate facial features, such as soft and squishy ears that are comparable to human ears. Her movements are now limited to blinking, yawning, and a few other endearing emotions, which are all controlled by a remote human operator. The technology's creators are currently considering uses, such as turning Asuna into a music star. Finally, there's Nadine, the sociable robot. Scientists have created a robot that recognizes your name and requires you to recall it when it sees you again. Nadine has a quality that distinguishes her from the other robots. She is a socially aware, humanoid robot with her personality, sentiments, and mood. Professor Nadia Thalman, Nadine's creator, expects that physical social robots like Nadine will become more common in businesses and homes in the future. Do you get a strange feeling? You guessed it correctly. They believe it is a robot version of Professor Nadia, who created it. A social robot's primary goal is to interact and converse with people. Nadine possesses all the characteristics of a social robot while adhering to particular social behavior and standards. Facial recognition is one of Nadine's architecture's sub-modules in the perception layer. If necessary, Nadine tailors her emotions and behavior to the person's identity. The emotional module can then use this knowledge to change sentiments, mood, and so on. For speech recognition, Nadine employs Google Cloud voice and text technology, which supports up to 120 languages. It all started when she worked as a receptionist at Nanyang Technological University, where she made acquaintances with students, staff, and visitors at the NTUS Institute of Media Innovation. So what do you think? Do you like them? I'm sure you will. They're beautiful, humorous, and intelligent. You may easily fall in love with them. Tell us your views in the comment section. Having said that, that's it for the day, guys. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. And we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.